Imagine your life without clean, safe water. Consider for a moment how you use water every day for cleaning or in the beverages that we drink. And now multiply that by 2 billion. Because we share this planet with 2 billion people that lack access to safe water. And that is why it's so important to talk about this issue and raise awareness where possible and especially around World Water Day, an annual United Nations Observance Day and, uh, that, that celebrates water and that, that inspires action towards sustainable development goal number six. That's the development goal that prioritizes water and sanitation for all by 2030. And as an environmentalist with a focus on water issues, World Water Day is of particular interest to me. And it's also important to businesses like Suntory, a global beverage company with a long-standing history of prioritizing the sustainability of water resources. And I'm joined today by Makiko Omo of Suntory Holdings to talk more about this year's World Water Day and Suntory's commitment to protecting water as a precious resource. So uh, to start, could you tell us more about your background and your, your role in Suntory? Sure. Uh, Alex, thank you very much for having me, you know, with you today. My name is Makiko Ono, and um, I serve as Chief Sustainability Officer at Suntory Holding in Japan. Uh, in this role, I develop the sustainability strategy, lead and drive actions to promote sustainability in cooperation with our businesses globally. But I previously served as Chief Operating Officer of Suntory Beverage and Food, France, leading our non-alcohol business in the French market. Of course, where, you know, I was tackling the sustainability challenges in daily operations. Being good stewards of water is something we prioritize at Suntory every single day. It, in the, it's important that we use every opportunity to educate others about this precious resource through events like World Water Day. Yes, I, I fully agree on, on, on the importance of educating about water because it's something I'm, I'm spending a lot of time on. And if we, if we look on, on Centauri here, uh, water is such an important component of the business of Centauri. Yes, we have a very diverse portfolio of products that our global customers know and love, such as our Japanese whiskeys, iconic American spirits such as Jim Beam and Maker's Mark, and also non-alcoholic beverages. Many of these products originate from the natural water we cultivate in forests and in mountains. And for example, clear water that is slowly purified over 20 years in forests, in mountains, is a key ingredient in our natural mineral water um, tenancy, brand name is tenancy, number one mineral water brand in Japan. As I mentioned, our plants and facilities across Suntory Global also use a large amount of water, like for cleaning production equipment and cooling. That's why it's so important for us to prioritize the sustainability of water as a precious resource. Simply put, it's the foundation of Suntory's entire business. Yeah. And Another core focus of World Water Day is to inspire action towards sustainable development goal number six, SDG six, as people say, or global goal six, uh, which is water and sanitation for all uh, by 2030. So why should we all take water sustainability and more specifically water scarcity more seriously? Well, Alex, as you said, there's about two billion people in the world who lack access to safe water. And due to climate change and population growth, we are looking at about 40% of the global population suffering from water shortages in 2050. Because of this, Suntory just strengthened our commitment to water stewardship at the start of this year by accelerating our 2030 water targets. That's, that's great. So, so can you tell us more about uh, the sustainability targets of Suntory for 2030? Absolutely. Suntory's own water sustainability goals 
specifically take into account SDG number six, which are focused on the availability and sustainable management of water and sanitation for all. First, our goal for 2030 is to reduce the water intensity of production at our own plants by 35% globally. Well, we actually surpassed our 2020 goal of a 50% reduction in water intensity of production within our own planets. So that is why we have set an ambitious target, more than doubled of our achievement. And then in addition to this, we are aiming to replenish more than 100% of water used in at least half of our own plants globally, including all those in highly water stressed areas. We continue to do this through local water resource conservation efforts that are tailored to each area and location. And lastly, two important components of our strategy include collaboration and education. For collaboration, we prioritized working with suppliers to improve water use efficiency in the production of water intensive key ingredients, especially in water stressed areas. And on the side of education, we are also working to expand Santry Water Education Program and initiatives to provide safe water access for more than 1 million people by 2030. Wow, that's, that's wonderful, especially the part of, of replenishing more than 100% of the water that you've used. So that is like giving back to nature, giving back to, to, to community. And that is, that is uh, the, the kind of uh, things I admire in companies when they do so, and including the other goals that you mentioned. And you also briefly mentioned a few business initiatives and local efforts to preserve and, and, and conserve water. Could you, could you elaborate on those? Beyond our plans to reduce water usage, we've also implemented various, various sustainability initiatives across our business. Um, since 2003, we have established 23 natural water sanctuaries near our production sites in Japan and the United States. Wonderful. I, I remember the video I saw of, uh, of the one in Kentucky. And, and so what exactly are these, these natural water sanctuaries and, and how and, and why does Centauri manage them? Well, these are maintained in forests to help natural mechanism function. So cultivating these water resources requires a healthy forest full of life, rich in biodiversity, and this will be able to mitigate that risk of flooding and landslides and to maintain strong CO2 absorption capabilities. To manage this initiative, we have partnered with experts in forestry, hydro hydrology, and other environmental sciences to conduct continuous ecosystem and watershed monitoring. Water is a part of a larger system we rely on. So an important part of this work is to ensure our efforts and facilities located near these sanctuaries will not have a negative impact on the local ecosystem. And through our natural water sanctuaries in Japan, our original goal was to cultivate more than twice the amount of water used by our plants in Japan by 2020. However, luckily, fortunately, we achieved this goal in 2019, one year ahead of the schedule. Wow, that's, that's great to hear. And it, it sounds like the natural water sanctuaries are a very important part of your business. So how can we educate more people about water conservation and, and preservation? Well, I have already touched on this. But another core focus should be passing down this precious natural environment to the next generation. In 2004, we launched a Santry's original education program for nature and water. We called it Mizuiku in Japan um, and have since expanded this program to other countries like Vietnam, 
Indonesia, Thailand, and China. This educational program for students is designed to share more about the importance and value of water with tailored programs for each country, inspiring them to consider what they can do to ensure there will be water in the future. As of 2020, the program has been shared with 370,000 children and teachers globally and has provided access of safe water to 150,000 people in need. Wow, that is, that's all wonderful. So yeah, thank you so much for, for, for taking your time and for explaining more about the importance of water and um, the many ways that, that Centauri is giving a, a positive contribution to, to achieving the goals of World Water Day and, and of Sustainable Development Goal uh, number six. And uh, yeah, basically showing how as a responsible company, how you can take take care of the planet, how you can give back to the planet and how you can also um, prepare uh, both our planet as well as the next generation for the challenges uh, that are facing us. And, and especially uh, water is really important and having your targets for in eight years time and in 28 years time ahead of us, uh, achieving already some of them ahead of your, your target. Um, I think that's wonderful. So I, I, I would like to applaud what, uh, what you are doing and thanks so much uh, for your time. Thank you very much, Alex. It was an honor to me, for me to be with you today. Thank you. <laughs>